currently in Menorca, one of the Spanish islands, using my iPhone because I didn't want to bring my proper camera. Look at this. So I've been staying here for the last five days and that is why I did not post a video last week. Apologies, but I've been enjoying the beautiful sunshine. But, you know, all good things do come to an end. I need to come home. I've got a flight in about an hour. What the hell is he doing? Resting. He's resting, apparently. Yeah, it's been amazing. Here you go. It's been a couple of days since I landed back in the UK from Menorca. Um, I, right, I, I need to show you something. So I have some big mosquito bites on the side of my head, on my arm and on my leg, which is really annoying. But anyway, that's beside the point. I want to show you something. So also check out that toilet just moved. Oh, it's <laughs> the toilet. I've just worked it out. The toilet is one of those ones that kind of But anyway, on the topic of skin, I guess, talking about my mosquito bites, uh, I want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Tish Hanley, amazing, amazing skincare products. You might have heard of these guys before. Yeah, so I've just had my monthly delivery. But to be honest with you, I've never really had a skincare routine, but I do now because of how simple it is to use these products. So like, I've got all these products here for my morning and night routine, which I'll talk about really quickly. Um, but the best thing is about this like level one package is it literally tells you here how to use each product and when to use it. So you've got a morning and a night routine here. So really simple, step by step, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. So my favorite part about the Tiege Hanley delivery is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you exactly what to do with the products, when to use it, and in what order. It is fantastic. So I've been using these products for a while now and I am hooked. And it might sound quite weird, but you know, I look forward to my morning and evening routines now. And I think that's because I feel so much more confident once I've done the routine. Other than the amazing skin that you'll get, Tiege Hanley do offer a number of other benefits, including 25% off retail price, and you can customize your own box, and you can, you know, you can cancel or pause your subscription at any time. There we go, looking fresh, feeling fresh. Because T. Shanley are sponsoring today's video, they are offering you the deal of a lifetime. Take my word for it. So basically they're gonna offer you a free gift and also the package. And I think the package starts at like, it's like $25 it works out to be. So click the first link in the description and grab yourself an absolute deal. All right, let's crack on with the video. You sit down. So I am in central London right now and I want to talk about a topic that you know pretty much every watch YouTuber has probably touched on at some point, right? And it's watches getting stolen. Now, I met a guy two weeks ago at the London Watch Show with Alex, who is behind the camera, and I tried on his watch. And two weeks later, so on the 2nd of October, he had the watch stolen in Mayfair at night. Now, I firstly just want to say, I hope you're all right, I hope everything's okay. Um, and he does have the watch insured, but it's such an interesting thing to talk about. You know, it's, you, you basically just can't wear a watch in central London. So, you know, I've come out today with Alex. I'm wearing a Casio. Alex is wearing his amazing Swatch. You just, what, what, what are you wearing, dude? What are you wearing? Just a Seiko. A Seiko, there you go, <laughs> see? You, you wear, wear, wears, it's a nice watch. It's a nice watch. Salud from Greece. Hey, love that, love that. See what I mean? People wear crap watches in central London. No, I'm joking. Um, but it's 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 not good, right? It's it's really not good. I just want to talk more about the watch. So if anyone comes across it or sees it, maybe check that it is not stolen. So the watch is a 26315 ST, so the 38 mil Royal Oak Chrono. Beautiful, beautiful watch. And I said that in my London watch video. I just can't believe. I can't believe it's been stolen from the guy. He was a lovely guy. He paid 25K for it. It's worth a hell of a lot more now. Like I said, I just hope he did he, he did get it insured. And I think he's registered that it's lost as well. But yeah, it's just sad. It really is sad. So a final message. If you're in central London, be careful. If you do wear a nice watch, cover it. Don't attract attention. If you go on a night out and you're gonna be in Mayfair at 1, 2 a.m., people are gonna be looking 
and they're going to target you if you're wearing an RM or an AP. It, it, it's sad, but it's the case these days. Anyway, with that said, I need to go buy some trainers. Uh, Alex has been asking me to buy some trainers for the last, is it four years? At least four and a half, Phil. Four and a half years. Today, I'm, we're going to go to Nike. I might buy some trainers. Why? What's changed? I want to save it as a surprise. So, these are pretty comfy. Um, I'm probably going to go for them, but I found them online for like 60 quid and these are like 110. Probably going to buy them online. Am I fast in these? I got told to not film. I think I was probably a little bit too fast. I think they're a bit jealous. Anyway, what's the plan? Uh, Regent Street stroll. Go yes. buy a, a steel sports watch from one of the ADs. Yeah, the should we go to Watches of Switzerland? Yeah, and, uh, just go in and march in and demand a sub. Let's see what's that. in the window. Let's have a look. Do you think security are going to tell you off? They're going to tell, tell me off. tell you off. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? For sure. Go on, have a look. Have a look. Uh, it's that's not bad. Yeah? Well what have you seen? What have you got your eye on? What? They've got for exhibition only? Literally for these models. A million a year, maybe this year, but not sure. Is that what? Uh, a million profit or revenue? Profit. You make a million? Nearly no, 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 not yet. Nearly? I hope so this year. Mate, that's good, man. That's ridiculous. I hope so. Tell me what you're even, doing, man. Even, even if I do half a million profit, mate, I'm happy. So, um, I've, brought, I've brought a few examples of watches that you might like mm -hmm. or might want to try on yourself. Yeah. Um, so, is there any particular watch that you have your eye on or that you like? Do you yes. have any photos of watches? It's... Um, mm, the they just Oyster... Navy blue. I should have a picture. They just okay. I actually have a picture of a. I've got one available at the moment, actually. Or oh, oyster bracelet, not jubilee bracelet. So I have that. Oh I no, have, no, I have, I have this. no, no. I, I'm more into the jubilee. Sorry. What do you think of this with the Roman numerals? Super great. You like it? Yeah. Look, it was this one. Ah, so the difference is. It's just that it's not Roman and it's that's... not a good. Flute, that's a fluted bezel, this is a smooth bezel. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'll let you try on a couple of watches. So this is a Rolex Submariner. Which I got is super slim wrist, man. Same. Oh. This, this will fit you <laughs> perfect. I know mm -hmm. you like the Datejust, but this will fit similar to how a Datejust would. Also got this to show you, which is a bit different. I, I like it. Oh, it's a Daytona. It's so, it's so nice. Um, this is quite, this has all the links in, so it's quite big, but it is so nice. Wonderful. And it's one of the most expensive. Yeah, to... so this Submariner Hulk right now is probably like 15, mm -hmm. 16,000 pounds. The Daytona. 25? Selling it for, yeah, 25 and a half, I'm selling it for. But this is like, as an investment, this yeah, watch yeah, sure. is yeah. like, just, just like, you can feel it. It's, I can. Yeah, 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 it's just. It's unreal. It is so nice. Take take a look at this one as well. This is out of my watches. This is my favourite. This is an AP Royal Oak. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll do it because it's a bit. I'll do that one first, and then... at the beginning I was more into AP. Yeah, the, that's a fifteen four hundred. So it's a it's an older model. Yeah. So the fifteen five hundred is the the newer model, but a lot more people prefer this for for some reason. I think it's a little bit slimmer. Um, but if you look at the back of the watch as well, it's just so beautiful. Like, oh yeah, you can see the open yeah. work, the open work back. Yeah, it's a beautiful watch, and the the bracelet on an AP Royal Oak, it it, it hugs your wrist so well. Like, it's just so well made. Yes, so difficult to find. Uh, it's not it's not difficult to find a fluted bezel date. Just it's just that. Um, it will be slightly more expensive. The flute, the, the bezel yeah. on a fluted bezel is white gold. Mm -hmm. So it, it bumps the price a little bit. But no, it's not, not too difficult to, to find. Like the cool blue light. So if you've watched any of the Watch Life episodes, you will know where I am right now. And if you've watched any, you'll definitely know <laughs> this boy right here. Uh, so Harris has... Actually, do you know what? I'm going to let you explain. You can, you can say whatever you want, but you can explain. I have a crazy watch that just came in. 
it's a uh, so when you see it's a Rolex, the large boxes, so you can already kind of guess what is what is going to be in there. Very exciting. Oh. You ready for it? Ready. Oh. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, let's have a look, let's have a look. See that? Whoa. That's a day day. Big boy watch. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so rose, I, I rose gold. Yeah, rose gold, chocolate dar, Roman numerals. I don't want to sell it, to be honest. Uh, I'm not surprised. Dude, this is sexy. Do you know the reference number for it? Uh, 228. 235. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a better dealer than you. <laughs> oh, you thought you could deal it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, so. Oh, uh, the wrong one. Yeah. So, yeah, talk, talk <laughs> to me about this. Like, available now? Yes, it is actually available now. It's uh, going at thirty-seven eight fifty. Nice. It's so fucking sexy. Good looking watch, man. Do you trust me when I say when you wear this, this adds three inches, <laughs> and, and I'm Chinese, so <laughs> you need you need them inches. <laughs> I really do do need those inches. So I'm not sure if I want to want to sell it now. You know, I, I I've had a taste of the good life now, so. Uh, yeah, but this is this but obviously, is something else. Obviously, full full box and papers. Sorry, but it doesn't come with a god tier watch. But if you want to, we can kind of work something out for sure know, for the god tier watch. The thing is, my fascination with the day date came. Uh, I'm not sure if you know the show uh, uh, The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. They see Tony Soprano wearing wearing a gold gold day date, but but that, those are the old 36 millimeter yellow gold ones. I really wanted one. But then I tried it on, it was a bit light, and I have wow. ginormous hands. So yes. watches in my hand, they look incredibly small. Yes. So uh, a 36 millimeter just, just doesn't go, which is kind of sad because a couple years ago, those were those those were pretty pretty cheap. They were around 10K, mm. not even 10K. And now they're slowly, slowly creeping up. So if you're looking for investment pieces, of course, it's either these new ones, or I would honestly say the the vintage 36 millimeter day dates. Yeah. Those are incredibly fantastic uh, investment pieces. Yeah. And I mean, very pe romantic. people might be looking at you might be looking at the candles, thinking Phil's just come over to Harris's apartment. Why is he? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say no more. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do you want to come outside, babe? Yeah, let's have a look. Take a look at this view, guys. Oh, thanks. All of my self dissatisfaction got way too much to maintain. Guess I just shut the fuck. Back home. Has anyone seen these before? Diet Coke, no caffeine, which means I can drink Diet Coke before I go to sleep and not feel wired, um, which is amazing. Um, I have something to say. So David Khalil, my very good friend and also fellow watch YouTuber, he is looking to recruit somebody into his team. He is looking for a videographer, so someone to film his YouTube videos and also edit them every single week. So if you have experience doing similar stuff, so editing videos, you know, filming, photography, all that kind of stuff, you can apply directly to David right here on his email, message him. It would help if you send previous experience or previous work that you've done and also explain, you know, on a CV perhaps, um, what you've studied and what you've done in the past. I guess that would help. What I will say about David is he is a lovely guy. He is just, he is really, really kind. He's extremely generous. Um, he, he's a great guy. So, uh, and as are all the other people that are at Watch Collectors UK, uh, a lovely family run business. So honestly, if you're in this world and you wanna get some obviously amazing experience and work with some amazing people and you know, see some amazing watches, this job is uh, perfect for you. Um, what I will say as well, you don't need to know everything about watches. In fact, it's probably better if you're just focusing on filming and editing. It doesn't matter if you don't know anything about watches because David luckily does know everything about watches. So anyway, with all that said, I do need to make some food. I need to go to sleep and I need to crack on with the week. It's your watch if you want it. Thank you very much. You're a very good seller. <laughs> appreciate that, appreciate that.